you lot are amazing. Okay, confession time. It may surprise you to know that I was actually pretty nervous releasing that last video. I didn't know how you were going to react. I, I didn't know how I would come across. I mean, I'd made up my mind to be fine with whatever happened because that's one of the keys to successful magic after all. But still, for someone not used to public speaking of any kind and someone who usually hides behind writing books, it was, it was kind of a big deal for me. But I shouldn't have worried because I've had such an outpouring of love and support. Seriously, I was genuinely reduced to tears more than once. I want you to get this point. Do you know how unusual it is to have a group of people like this? Believe me, I have different reader groups. You lot are not like the others. You're some of the most positive, upbeat, kind and optimistic people on the planet. Now, I know it sounds like I'm blowing smoke up your bottoms, but that's not what I'm trying to do. Because I, I truly think something more significant and profound is going on here. I think we've all tapped into something bigger. We're all on the same wavelength. We're all seeing the same truth. And it's like we've found each other. It's kind of beautiful, really. So you may not believe this, but just by being here, in my opinion, that makes you special. And the chances are, when it comes to this magic stuff, you're, you're probably halfway there already. Okay. Enough of that lovey-dovey stuff. I don't want to make you all sick. I'm going to get a bit more serious now. Now, I've been working with magic for some time, but over the last year or so, my understanding has really taken off. I've made some incredible discoveries and, and had some life-changing insights regarding magic, manifesting, and the, the whole business of being alive. These insights have had such a profound effect on my understanding of how this whole magic thing works, on how life works, that they've changed my whole outlook on the world. And as a result of this new understanding, I've created something very special. The biggest, most exciting thing I've ever been involved in. It's the Becoming Magic online course. And it's funny because the only aspect of this I didn't put much time into was the title of the course itself. And here I am about to, to launch and I, I don't have a better name than the Becoming Magic online course. But that was obviously meant to be, so fine. Let's get on with it. Okay, as I explained before, the last video was for you to decide whether I'm the right teacher for you. But this video is for you to decide if this is the right course for you. So you're probably wondering what you're going to be learning in this course. Well, this course has two main strands, two sort of learning objectives. Now, first of all, as I've said many times before, when I started working with magic, I discovered that what I was seeing in my own experience often seemed to fly in the face of many of the other really famous approaches to manifesting. So instead of following someone else's rules, I started asking myself, what's true for me? What have I noticed seems to work, seems to work in, in my own life? After all, that there could be nothing truer than my own experience. And pretty soon I came to accept no authority except myself. And it was by looking at my own life, at what was true for me, that I discovered something. I discovered a whole sea of wisdom, power, good feeling and truth that lived within me. I discovered that at my core, I was magic. As many of you know, I talk a lot about the receiving state, a state of trust and acceptance that feels great and seems to allow everything you want to flow to you. And pretty much all my books and everything I've ever written about is about this. It's all about getting you to look to your, your, your own experience, to drop into the receiving state and to discover that you are magic too. This is the process I like to call becoming magic. So the first point of this course is to help you to become magic, to wake up the magic power and potential within you. The magic that secretly, deep down, you always knew was there. And as if that weren't enough, point two of this course 
will be to actually make something happen. Because I know your reason for following this course is almost certainly to get something, achieve something, or create some change in your life. So, in this course, we're going to be working together on a project, a project of your choosing, some goal or some change you would like to make. We're actually going to begin creating something. Now, to make this happen, I'm going to introduce you to something new. Something I've rather romantically come to call the, the Becoming Magic Portal. This is a three-step system of magic that I've used for years. But most of this time, I've done this almost instinctively, without really even being aware of it. And this is totally new material now. I've not spoken about this in any of my other, other magic books at all. I haven't spoken of it because it's only recently dawned on me that, that there's this kind of skeleton like under everything else I do. And in this course, you're going to, going to learn exactly how to use this magic portal to create whatever it is you want. Because once you really get this, once you properly understand how this magic portal works, you've got it. You can then go off and create anything. So, over the next week or so, before the course officially launches, you might want to start thinking about what it is you'd like to create for the purposes of this course. What would you really like to bring into your life? I mean, really. Now, here's the thing. It turns out making something happen is one of the very best ways of getting in touch with magic. And when you're in touch with magic, you're going to have access to the entire creative potential of the universe. This means that the, the two main things you're going to be learning in the Becoming Magic course, the, these two learning objectives, are intimately connected. The two things kind of reinforce each other. So in short, in this course, we're going to wake you up to your true power, your inner wisdom, by creating something in your life you really want. And to do that, we're going to use magic. We're going to use the magic portal. Sound like fun to you? I bet it does. Right, before we go on, I want to ask you some questions. And I want you to think really hard about these because the thing is, I really only want people on this course who are going to do well with it. I want people who will stick with it, love it, get great results and tell all their friends. So I now want to ask you a few serious questions to help you decide whether this course is right for you. First of all, are you looking for Harry Potter style magic or old fashioned law of attraction style manifesting? Are you looking for a magic word or a secret technique that will make all your dreams come true? Or are you hoping that maybe you can just think the right thoughts and maybe that will do it? If so, this course isn't for you. Because do you know what you actually manifest when you just sit around having lovely thoughts? You manifest a situation where you're sitting around having lovely thoughts. That's it. That's what you manifest. Okay. I want to be honest, I'm not going to give you false promises now. I'm about to ask you for money and I, I don't want to mislead you. And the truth is, this stuff isn't easy. I mean, it's really simple once you've got the hang of it. It's really straightforward once you see it. But getting to that point of seeing how this works, that can be tough sometimes. So you need to know, in this course, I absolutely won't be teaching you techniques or visualizations or methods for manifesting stuff out of thin air. This is not about putting wishes or even intentions out into the world and sitting back and waiting. This is about taking control of the creative process yourself. It's about realizing you are the instrument of power. So I am gonna tell you about this magic portal and the three steps it contains. But this course is going to be less about following instructions and more about consulting your own wisdom, your own truth and your own experience. Now, 
the universe will step in and offer it offer a hand. It, it happens every time to me. Sometimes the universe does just hand us stuff on a plate. But it only seems to do this when you're already taking action. So this next question sounds really silly, but it's important. Are you willing to do the work as well as just watch the videos? Because doing magic is not about avoiding taking action. Magic won't do the work for you. You still have to take action and do work. But I'm going to show you a way to sort of enchant the whole business of action, powering it up, making things easy and fun. Magic won't fix your life, but it will help you to fix it yourself. And if you get this point, you're truly halfway there. And you do need to be able to get this point to be successful with this course. Because there's something that I've only come to see quite recently. And it's that magic massively rewards the brave, the committed, the doers of this world. Uh, you know, I've been thinking I might even make this a, the topic of a, of a further advanced course if there's demand for it. But you know, this course isn't just about getting stuff or acquiring things. Because as we all know, when you get something, before long you just want something else. This course isn't really even about making stuff happen. This isn't just about getting stuff with magic, one thing after another. It's about living a magical life all the time. It's about squeezing more enjoyment out of every second. And quite often, well, that doesn't, that doesn't involve any material stuff at all. Okay, enough of the details, on to logistics. The course itself is made up of seven video chapters, all presented by me. Each chapter contains shorter sessions within it. And in all, there are about 23 individual videos to watch, some long, some very short. Now, at the end of each chapter, You'll find a, a recap of the main points. There'll also be an assignment you'll need to complete and also a question and answer session. These question and answer sessions are audio recordings and they can be downloaded so you can listen whenever you like. Now, once you've got access to the course, you can follow it at whatever pace you like. You'll have lifetime access to these recordings so you can go as fast or as slow as you like. And Following the official launch of the course, I'll be holding two support podcasts. The first of these will be around probably two weeks after the launch, and I'll, I'll announce exactly when that's going to be in an email. Now, during these podcasts, I'm going to be answering a selection of your questions, or whatever seems to be coming up for you as you work through the course. Everyone on the course is welcome to submit questions, and I'll, I'm going to try and get through as many of these questions as I can in these sessions. And these sessions are going to be permanently available for anyone who signs up in the future. In fact, if demand is high, I might even make these podcasts a regular thing. Okay, that's me done. If you've got any questions, drop me an email or, uh, or ask me on Facebook in a private message. Exciting times, and I'll see you all on the course.